friends in this video we will see the construction and working of hydraulic dynamometer dynamometers are the devices which are used to measure power similarly if we are using water or oil as a medium of power measurement then it becomes hydraulic dynamometer so here is the diagram of hydraulic dynamometer in this we are having a rotating disc this rotating disc is connected with the shaft whose power we want to measure this shaft would be rotating and we want to measure the power of this shaft so we connect this shaft to a rotating disc and this rotating disc is mounted inside the casing so how the functioning takes place when this shaft is rotating at that time water drives into the grooves here as we see here we are having number of grooves so water moves inside that now that water will try to rotate the casing as well but casing we are having the brake band over the casing which apply brakes to them it means when the water would be trying to move the casing then at that time the braking action takes place and from that we can measure the amount of braking torque so in this case as we have seen here we are having a rotating shaft whose power is to be measured that shaft is connected to rotating disc and here we are having the casing so when the shaft rotates the water draws inside the recesses and water will try to move it will form as we are seeing in this diagram these are called as vortices and because of these vortices circulation is produced and because of the circulation over the chambers here this casing will also try to rotate but the casing brakes are applied over that and we can measure the power of the shaft so this was a small description of hydraulic dynamometer i hope you all have understood this